So Matt Cutts from Google recently came out and declared essentially that guest blogging is dead as a traffic strategy. Is this true? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Alright, so Matt Cutts recently came out and talked about guest blogging and basically said that it is basically dying when it comes to the effectiveness and that essentially Google's going to do something about it. Here's how he started off his blog post. Okay, I'm calling it. If you're using guest blogging as a way to gain links in 2014, you should probably stop. Why? Because over time, it's become a more and more spammy practice. And if you're doing a lot of guest blogging, then you're hanging out with really bad company. Now, here's the thing. He's absolutely right. I'm on the receiving end of a lot of these emails, and Matt actually posted a, a sample email that he received. I've gotten a number of those things. I get them here at Blog Marketing Academy, and I also get them a lot over on my tech site, where pe basically people are willing to pay for backlinks, uh, are just sending me these template-based emails that sometimes are laced with typos, and it's, it's pretty freaking embarrassing, actually, for them that I get emails like that. So you definitely are in bad company if you are using using guest blogging as a way to get backlinks. It does not work very well. It really doesn't. But here's why I don't want you to run for the hills. I know that a lot of people um, listen to everything that Matt Cutts says as if it is absolute gospel, almost to the point where if the man farted, we'd all try to go out there and rank for the word fart on Google. But here's the thing. As a audience building strategy, guest blogging still works and will always work. The difference is that instead of worrying about the backlink, we're thinking of it in terms of access to their audience. And that's a completely different way of thinking about it. You want to add tremendous, crazy ass value to the members of that other person's community. And then you, if you want to bring them back to your site, which is obviously something you're going to want to do, you want to make it extremely relevant and get them over there, not just here, here's a link to my blog, uh, you know, homepage or something like that, but link them into something which is going to add additional value that goes along with the content that you just put on this person's site. But here's the other point, and I've said this a million times, is that this business is ultimately a people business. So what you need to be doing is not going out and blanketing the internet with guest blogging invitation emails because those are stupid. You need to be building relationships with these other bloggers. And as they get to see that you are adding value by participating in their community or you want to help them, then they're going to be more likely to invite you to guest post on their blog. It's a different way of looking at it because then you're, you're going to be increasing your branding. You're going to be uh, helping their audience and you're going to be doing all these things that will never die. It, the, the, that stuff will never die. What Google is after is going after people who are trying to game the system. And you're not ever going to game the system by adding value to the world. You're going to do it by trying to get link juice and increase your page rank and all this stuff by really adding no value to the world. So I don't want you to run to the hills and think guest blogging is dead. It's not dead. It never will die. You just need to make sure that you're doing it with the right intentions and really adding value. Don't go out and depend too on guest blogging as a traffic strategy. There's a number of other ways to get out there in front of your future audience than to go and guest blog on other people's sites. That's just one way to go. And in fact, what you're going to find coming up here on this blog on my next feature post is going to be something called the traffic building formula. Now, I mentioned it in brief in my last blog post, but on the next one, we're going to go into a lot more detail on those six things in that formula. And guest blogging is just simply one way of going about it, but it's all united by the basic formula. Uh, and it really comes down to adding value to the world. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Matt Cutts is not wrong on this. It's just that you need to make sure that what he's basically saying is that you need to add a lot of value and really do this in the right way. Don't go out there and try to buy con uh, access to people's audiences through backlinks or uh, sending out random guest post emails. Hey, I'm willing to write your 100% free content, 100% original. 
all these stupid phrases that we've heard a million times. Just delete all those things when you get them because you do not want to post those things on your site. Not a good idea, but you also shouldn't be doing it. And I think my audience is definitely smart enough to not be doing that. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Blogging and growing a real business around your blogging can be overwhelming and seem pretty complicated. The Blog Marketing Academy was set up to do something about it. I take a systematic approach, giving step-by-step -step processes you can follow to get the results that you want. At Blog Marketing Academy, I don't teach blog monetization the way those other people do. Around here, we're focused on building real businesses based on solid fundamentals that will have the staying power to provide the freedom and fulfillment you want. To learn more about it, head on over to blogmarketingacademy.com slash join.